different potentially is that we're ball watching the fence. Okay, we don't watch the man. Um, so the focus is that there's only one threat at any given time, and that's going to be the ball. There's no tries apart from a penalty try where a try is scored without the ball. So we defend the ball. By defending the ball, it gives us what we said to you about cohesion. Uh, but it's being together, that we're connected. We've got integrity in our defensive line now because we're all trying to solve the same problem. The benefit for me takes away, um, you're my man, he's your man, etc. Fuck that. It's not that. They're our men. We go get them together. It's our problem to solve. It's not your problem. It's us. We're in this together. And that's what I try and reinforce as much as possible. It's a cooperative defence, a connected defence, uh, a defence that has a lot of integrity because we've got one focal point, not many. So, of course, if you uh, young, so let's, who can you be today? Let's call you uh, Jason Robinson. Okay, I've got Jason Robinson here, and I've got uh, Martin Johnson on his outside. Okay, give me another friend here. Let's call you the two of you. I'm big dick on my outside. All right, okay. So, if we're in a traditional up and out man on defence, okay, you've got your man, you start drifting out. Yeah. Uh, you step me, big Robbo, boom. Okay, I've got a problem, haven't I? It's a line break, it's a missed tackle. We're going to solve something else here. Now we're watching the ball, okay, it's like again, same thing, he's step, he steps it up, he's watching the ball, he's now going to adjust because that's the threat, yep. we're now going to make the hit together, okay, when you're first, I'm second. So the idea is that we all sort of have a channel, we're kind of bug-eyed, okay, so it's kind of, I'm reading information on the outside, but I'm sort of this sort of angle here, okay, I'm predominantly from here to my inside defender, and I've got slightly on his inside, and I want to try and stay in my channel, stay square, so I want spacing, and now I'm on stay square. So I keep moving up my line, we pass the ball, and then move across where the ball's going to be. Okay, but I stay square, keep the spacing consistent on the inside. So for me, the key fundamentals of defense is one, you want numbers on feet. What do numbers give you? Superiority. Superiority, solutions. Solutions, superiority. Okay, every aspect of rugby, you want numbers over. Everyone always speaks about numbers over an attack, don't they? When you're a kid, numbers over. 2v1s, 3v1s, just practice it for God knows how long. Defence, I want numbers over, I want two in the tackle. I want more people on my feet to solve problems against their defence, uh, their attack, sorry. I want in line out, I want to create uh, a group of three into the air faster than they can get their group of three there. I want to create numbers over into an area to create a mall quicker than they can. In a scrum, I want to create a power vector in the right hand side of the scrum and our ball, try and dismantle their, uh, their loose head. Everywhere we're trying to create numbers over and look like even knowing it. So likewise in defence. So when I first got asked to uh, do a defensive system, what is the primary goal of defence? This is the question I was asked. What's the primary goal of defence? Copy for the ball. Stop the team from scoring. Anything else? Win the ball back. Win the ball back. That's the primary objective. They've got the ball, we want the ball back. We get the ball back, we don't score tries. Okay? That's a fact. We want the ball back. So I want the ball back. Now I need to know how do I then go about getting the ball back. So for me, it becomes under pressure. <coughs> Everyone has a skill set that you're all equipped with, all varying degrees of skills and so on. You all have a different thing that you're better at. So I want to try and dictate the attack. I can't say what you're going to do, but I can tell you how good you're going to do it or have an influence on how well you're going to do it. So I want to take away your time on the ball and I want to take away your space on the ball. Everyone there, uh, if you go about 10 minutes wider uh, on the green line, Okay, I want to pass the ball right from go. Beautiful. Can you give the ball back? <laughs> this is why I chose him to pass the ball. Why not? Why not call him Mark Johnson? Okay, now you pass the ball. Fucking dickhead, he passed brilliantly. Okay, go again. Okay, do your legs first. Alright. <laughs> the, the, the idea is, fellas, that you're going to put his skill set under pressure. Okay, obviously, all the defender came in and set the ball there. The idea is, all the time, we're trying to take away space to pass, and there's, there. there's no pressure. It's more comfortable to make a nice pass. I'm closing down to the line speed. I'm now putting his skill set under pressure. Okay, so the idea is, line speed will mask a multitude of sins. So, in a, in a softer defence, who's, 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 who's got the sense? Who's the person that is in control of what's about to happen? Me or you? Me. You. So you are now putting my skill set as a defender under pressure. Okay, but I come into here, I'm now putting your skill set under pressure.
So the idea is I want to try and get to a line speed thing. So if we get six defenders here, fellas, and about six attackers here, or half and half, whatever the numbers are, I'll just show you a little drill, um, one face thing, you little go up ball watching. Hey, you play my big man? So we're going to set the face off the red card out. We've got defenders. This is our attacker. You attacking or not? No, he's filming. He's not attacking. Give me one more attacker. Anyone? Oh, wants to attack. Wants to attack. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's alright. He's trying to attack. No attacking. No attacking. Okay. So, what do you think about space and our defensive line so far? What do you think? We're looking. There's gaps. Okay, so. First of all, probably the favourite space at one, you're probably looking at two more. Okay, don't worry don't, don't, don't about one another, don't worry about I'll join you. Okay, so, your folks, what's the ball, what's the ball, what's the ball? All I need to think of three things here. What's the ball? Get a fly number there behind and stay in the channel. When the ball gets past the channel between you, you're just on the ball. That makes sense. So, the ball gets past the here, here, you're just on the ball, you're just on the outside to protect you. Um, so, in terms of our space of our one and two, what do you think? Is that pretty decent? Do these two guys have good space? Yeah, I'll probably get a little bit closer. You might feel a little bit vulnerable, so you might be a little bit closer, but in general, you know, the space is not too bad. Traditionally, teams used to be in, say, for tighter, for tighter mate. And what would happen is that the nine will pick, you'd almost get the outside of the second defender task, which the third defender in. Okay, likewise, if he starts too tight, you're going your tighter, same thing. You get a bit wider, can't beat two people, which means three and stay straight, which gives you more numbers than my feet. Okay, perfect. So, I want those three things, okay? Let's see how we go with that. Okay, ready to go? Okay, okay, okay. So, our second defender can come forward, and what do we do on the outside here? Do it straight, straight. Thank you. 